wait. Oh, are we rolling? Oh, I didn't know we were going already. Hold on, hold on. I got my trusty spoons just in case for this video. Okay, we gotta get that intro going. Abracadabra. <laughs> There we go, that was the intro. <laughs> so, hello everybody, my name is Phoenix Hero, and today we are back with another fun, mystic, and psychic-filled episode because we are unboxing two Alakazam V boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into my new Pokemart that I have built back here. I built a small bookshelf to host all of my glorious Pokemon cards. I know it's not a ton, don't give me garbage, but still, uh, I have everything back there now, so I feel a little more like an actual Poketuber. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull two of the Alakazam V boxes off the shelf, and let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and open these Alakazam V boxes. So um, this box looks like it's missing one, but it's actually slid. I don't know if you can see it because, yeah, it's kind of like right there. So it's actually slid back behind the pack. And funny enough, I found this box in Target, and this was just the last one sitting on on the shelf and I have a feeling it got put back because someone thought the card pack or that extra pack was missing so maybe this is gonna be our fire pack because of that okay if I can just get these open yeah and all right there we go <laughs> okay so we got the code card for you guys right here we have our Alakazam V big card right here which is very cool art. And then we got the little guy down here, Alakazam doing uh, Zen Spoon is what it looks like. And then what comes in these packs is we have two Vivid Voltage, a Rebel Clash, and a Sun and Moon. So let me go ahead and get both of these open so we can jump into the packs. Okay, so we have all eight packs pulled out now. And here is the code card for the other box. All right, guys, we have them all pulled out now. So I'm gonna let you guys choose down in the comments. Which ones would you like to see? Would you like to choose A, B, or C first? I'll give you guys a second. All right, it looks like you guys have chosen PAX A. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get these opened. And if you're wondering, I have a Band-Aid on my thumb here because I had a nasty hangnail and I went ahead and just ripped it off there and it was bleeding and I was like, oh, that's great. Well, now I can't record today. So I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a Band-Aid on it. So I do apologize for that being in the video today. Um, I think this is the right way to do this. So is it four to the, wait, what do we open? Sun and Moon? I think is it four or three? We're just gonna try four and see how it goes. Um, so. Funny enough, this is finally the first time we're actually seeing Kadabra back in Pokemon because he's been out of the game for a long time now. Kadabra's only been in, I think, seven? There's only been seven variations of Kadabra um, since he was kind of, in a way, banned from Pokemon. So the whole backstory on what happened to Kadabra and why we haven't seen him around for a while is apparently there was a illusionist named Uri Geller who Kadabra was originally um, kind of created after because he was using spoons. And since Kadabra used the spoons, uh, Uri went ahead and filed a claim um, to go ahead and sue Nintendo uh, for using quote-unquote his likeness when <laughs> Kadabra looks nothing like this man. So I, I completely understand filing something like that, thinking if you're that angry against a child's card game and a child's, <laughs> a child's, you know, just show in general to be like, this is your likeness, you know, that's, that's super messed up. So anyways, the last time Kadabra was around was actually back in 2003. And let's see, what was he? I don't know, sometime back in 2003, here's the code card for you guys, uh, was one of the last sets Kadabra was in. I'm sorry if I keep saying Kadabra's coming back, he's not. Um, there was the lawsuit, I believe has still been going on since 2008, and to know if it's actually been finally uh, fulfilled, I'm not entirely sure yet, but at least we're still getting Alakazams, but yeah, we haven't seen Kadabras for a long time, and hopefully, I don't know if he'll make a comeback into the cards, but that's why we have had like Abras go straight evolutions into Alakazam um, because of this. So we haven't seen Kadabra around for a very long time, which has been unfortunate because I really like Kadabra. So we got a Sunskirt and onto a Golduck. So, all right, the Sun and Moon packs were absolute garbage, which gonna move right on to the Rebel Clash packs. Okay, so here's the code card for you guys. 
So it is really cool to see uh, Vivid Voltage coming back strong, giving us an Alakazam box because he is a character that is definitely missed. I think there's only been seven iterations of him since Pokemon started uh, because of the whole issue with Uri. That's why we haven't seen him around at all. So it's very nice that we do have an opportunity to still see Alakazam uh, with some very nice art, which is very cool. There is a full art Alakazam in this set. So if you do get him, he is definitely a very nice card to get. Uh, I do not have him, unfortunately, but maybe that will change. Uh, Magmortars are non-hollow. Wow, these cards are... Everything's been a little garbage so far. Not even a single little pull here, huh? Um... But that's okay. So hopefully all of our good stuff is within the Vivid Voltage packs. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. We got energy, speed energy. We got a Metapod, a Heliosk. Oops, sorry, I almost skipped one. Phantup. Uh, we got Dreepy, Farfetch'd, Hone Edge, uh, Temple, Electrode, followed by a Diggers B. Okay, so all of our packs besides Vivid Voltage yet have been garbage, but we do have four of them. So let's go ahead and see if we can pull something magic. Uh, maybe out of this oh, <laughs> space beetle? Or Beetle, powerful. I can't, I don't know the actual VMAX of all forms. It's just Or Beetle VMAX. But he does look like a big spaceship, which is very cool. Um, so, oops. Okay. Well, did I just ruin that? Was that the rare? I do what? I think I did. Oh, well, there's the code card for you guys. Now, was it three since I screwed that up? Okay. Let's see if I can get it right. Uh, energy. Giraffe Rake. Moo Moo Cheese. Oh, I'm, wow. I'm doing terrible tonight. We got a Meowth. A Cottony. Arcuda. Uh, Ninkata coming through, I don't know, it looks like he's underground somewhere. Pick a peck. Uh, Zebra Striker, followed by- Ooh! Well- <laughs> Funny enough, guys, we were just talking about him, and <laughs> what do you know? Fitting enough to pull Alakazam V, the full art from the actual set. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this beautiful, beautiful card there. Uh, at least from this angle, the sending looks pretty good. I'm trying to see from the side. Yeah, not half bad, but what a very, very beautiful pull, and what a fantastic thing to get out of an Alakazam V box. So, we do have the best versions of him so far. Well, if I don't pull anything else, you know what? That kind of makes <laughs> that kind of makes it so far. That was very, very good. Well, I did that wrong, and that means we're getting absolute poop out of this box. Yeah, unfortunately, if you see that green card, you can almost throw it away, except I do think you can still get an amazing rare, uh, if I'm not mistaken. If you guys know the answer to that, please let me know down in the comments so I don't all go wasting my time if I don't have to. Chatod, yes, yeah, Skittle followed by Vaporeon non hollow. All right, we got two packs left. Yeah, two packs left. Oh my God, I did it again. Cramorant, okay, followed by uh, the code card down here. I'm sorry, guys. I think it's the bandit on my finger. That's why it's getting stuck like that. Hopefully, uh, I definitely shouldn't have that within the next uh, within the next video here. So we got a Clefairy, a Whalmer, uh, Tynamo. Then we got Execute, Shout Out again, followed by a Pinchurin, and then we have a Whalelord. Okay. So, we're on to the last pack, but uh, you know, what a better way to start Monday than with some very nice product. Uh, I'm not too sure what we're gonna get into for the rest of the week yet. Um, so if you guys see anything on my shelf back there that you would like to see me open, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna try and keep it as up to date as possible. I'm waiting on some Vivid Voltage booster boxes to come through. Uh, we do have Shining Fates coming around the corner, I believe on the 19th or 22nd. So I hope you guys have had a chance to get some of those pre-ordered. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to have those when the actual set comes out. But you never know with allocation issues in stores if we're actually going to see them. Um, but I do hope you guys have had the chance to get a hold of at least one or two, just in case you get the new, brand new VMAX Charizard, uh, the English version, out of the set. I think it's the shiny one. So if you have the follow up from the Champions Path VMAX uh, or V card, the shiny one, then it would be very, very good to sell. And then we have a Berserker. So. Pretty much a bunch of garbage from the set, but we did pull, um, here's the full art Alakazam one more time that we do have, and then we have the promo card that comes with the boxes. Two very, very powerful cards from the set. I think this is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so let's see if I can use my psychic abilities to send us over to the wrap up. Wait, I need my spoons. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and ring that bell for more fun videos we have coming up very soon. Uh, I do videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so make sure to have that bell notification turned on not to miss any of the fun coming up very soon. We have a very cool week ahead uh, after Alakazam this week. We have uh, so probably some small tin openings on, two on Wednesday and then probably continuing hunting for Charizard on Friday. 
So I wish you guys good luck and a good week of pulls. Uh, if you get the chance, I'll pick up some of these Alakazam boxes, pick up like one or two and see if you get anything cool out of them. It is very nice to see, uh, just to get that cool Alakazam promo. It's a very nice card to add to your collection. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you guys are the true heroes and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good night, everybody.